So I pull up my pants, and my proctologist looks at me and says, I can't find my watch. Whoa, we're live. <laughs> hey, sports fans. Welcome to Haroon's Hangout, the internationally featured show presented by Moby. I am your host, Haroon Rashid from Chemia Consulting. Today, what Amy Jo Martin can teach you about innovation. And today, I'm joined by Chemia's head of business insights, John Stevenson. And in today's episode, you're going to know about who is Amy Jo Martin and why Amy is great at innovation in particular. Because you know what? We're Yorkshire's innovation agency. We talk about everything to do with innovation. And then we're going to talk about the key takeaways that you can learn from what Amy Jo Martin does and how you can apply that in your business. And before we do that, I'd just like to say uh, we are so proud that today is the first time that we are being sponsored. So Haroon's Hangout is brought to you by Movi, the video messaging application that allows for back and forth video message conversations that can be either public or private. Go to movi.co to see today's top posts, sign up for free, and join the conversations happening right now. That's movi.co. So, John, it's good to have you on the show. How are you doing, buddy? Hi. Fantastic news to be sponsored to be your first guest on the movie sponsored by show. Absolutely brilliant. Really looking forward to jumping into the conversation, Haru. Absolutely. Great stuff. So let's go straight into it. So let's talk about who is Amy Jo Martin. Well, for those of you who don't know, uh, Amy Jo Martin is a New York Times bestseller. Uh, she wrote a book called... Uh, uh, it was something to do about uh, Renegade's Write the Rules, which is Rooms, absolutely Rooms. fantastic. Ah, I was going to jump in and say, it's Renegade's Write the Rules. Sorry to overshout you. No, it's okay. Renegade's Write the Rules. So uh, this is her website, and this is her company, Digital Royalty. And uh, as you can see, it's all about innovation, education, motivation, social media training. She has coached and done social media for some top celebrities, including The Rock, and Shaquille O'Neal, and you know various other um, sports teams in America. And uh, here's her website, where you know we will advise you to go check it out. And uh, there is a picture of her somewhere. Let's have, there she is on the left hand side. There's Amy Jo Martin. So um, she's got a lot that she does. And looking at the website here, I know John that you want to talk about one thing in particular about why she's innovative, and it is this thing right here: digital royalty. University. Do you want to just talk us through this a little bit, John, about why she's innovative? Yeah, please. Thank you, Haroon. The first thing I wanted to say is that Amy really gets it. She really understands that innovation is hard work and you can't just wing it. Or alternatively, you just can't wave um, a wand or a, 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 a chopstick um, <laughs> in order to innovate. Um, so whether you're an individual or a brand, um, she really, really understands how to dis discuss innovation. So it could be a product, it might be a service, it might be a process, it could be a business model, but she understands the power of creative leadership and what's necessary to get people excited and what the processes are. But what I find really, really great about Amy is that how she encourages every, everyone in terms of innovation, and that's done through platform learning through the Digital Royal University and the education programs that she's got going to help um, people measure, build, and monetize their social media profile. Absolutely. I think I'm going to go with a really interesting innovation experiment that she did. And I, to be honest with you, I think that if you look at Amy Jo's story, she is someone who was way ahead of her time uh, for the industry that she was in because she used to work for the Phoenix Suns basketball team. And they didn't get social media, and yet she was like in charge of it, although it wasn't big back then. Um, <clears throat> but what I really enjoyed was the story, and go and check it out on her YouTube channel, it's fantastic. The story of how Shaquille O'Neal engaged her to kind of help him with, you know, the social media, uh, his social media, because Shaq is really kind of innovative in his own right, and he's very active online in his online brand. Uh, so she did this really awesome thing called Random Acts of Shaqness, 
okay? <laughs> and we'll put some links there. We'll get Cameron, our producer, to put the links in the show notes. But she would do these really cool social media experiments, particularly with Twitter, where they would tweet something from Shaq's account, and they would say to the fans, whoever can meet us on this street corner at this date, at this time, is going to get a whole load of Shaq memorabilia and some free tickets to tonight's game. And it was amazing. And, and they would film it, what was happening, at it, and they would film Amy you know, uh, going on the streets of you know Phoenix and everything, and then they would kind of get to the street corner, and there'd be loads of people there, and then they would give them all this stuff. So she was... She was demonstrating the power of reach, the power of social, way before all everybody else did. And I think she was a real innovative pioneer in her own right. So I'm going to throw that in there. So um, let's talk about the key takeaways, though, that Amy Jo Martin uh, gives us and how people can apply that in their business. What's on the list for you, John, in terms of key takeaways? Okay, there are two main things for me. The first one is that in order to innovate, um, be that if you're an individual or um, a company, you've really got to understand the customer. And I know you're thinking, yeah, 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 enjoy, you know, understand the customer. But actually, it's the reverse mindset. What do I mean by that? Well, effectively, you know, focus not on the customer, but focus on the job the customer is trying to get do, trying to get done. Sorry. I think that's the first thing to room. Hmm. And the second thing is you need an inspiring leader um, in order to move the innovation forward. So that takes creative leadership and you need to be able to set the challenge, idea generation, idea building, idea selection, idea implementation. And of course, the missing link to all of this, Arun, is um, that thing called momentum, which is needed for any uh, innovation to drive it forward. Absolutely. Be sure to catch At The Sharp End, which is on Mondays, 9 a.m. with Kemi Director Ian Sharp, where every business can be profitable. At The Sharp End is brought to you by Moby at moby.co. Go and check it out at The Sharp End, Mondays, 9 a.m. UK time, only on Google+. Let's go to my key takeaway. Uh, I think that... Amy demonstrates that you can't be afraid to try things out. Okay, I think that uh, the random acts of shackness, the fact that she was, the fact that she was a woman in a male-dominated industry yeah. as well, and she was saying, "Hey, look at this social media thing," and they're going, "What the hell are you on about?" I think she she just epitomizes someone who is fearless. And I think if you read her blog, she talks a lot about that. You know, you can't, be, you have to be fearless. You can't make excuses anymore. You can't say, I want to be innovative, but I don't want to go and do that because we're scared to do that. That's just, that's just not going to work. We talked about that before. Uh, so I would just say, dare to be different. We say that at Chemia because we're Yorkshire's innovation agency. We say you've got to dare to be different. The, the race belongs to the innovative, right? I mean, you can't, you can't expect to go and get all these brilliant results and everything like that if you're not, gonna, if you're not willing to kind of take the risk. So I'm going to yeah. say to you guys, go and try out something new. Stop doing traditions, challenge the traditions, do something new. What are you going to say, John? I was just going to jump in and think two things. Um, adapt and learn. And to back up what Harun has just said, hey, you can't get it right all the time. It's impossible to get it right all the time. Yeah. And if you could get it right all the time, um, wouldn't life be a bit boring? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I think that we're going to leave it there for today, guys. Uh, we hope that you have enjoyed it. Go and check out the show notes. But do join me next week where we'll be talking about how to come up with marketing ideas. A lot of people struggle with this thing. And we're going to give you guys some really practical tips of how you can create a great creative atmosphere in your office, wherever it is that you work, and how you can come up with great marketing ideas, where you can store them using really great apps that are perfect for marketing, and you can have some kind of action plan for your marketing. But from me and John, we just want to say thanks so much for watching. We've really enjoyed it. We were presented by Moby, moby.co. We'll see you next time, sports fans.